The Netherlands witnessed more violent anti-lockdown protests with the police having to detain well over 200 people as the riots continued for the third straight night. The protests were triggered by a night curfew that is aimed at curbing the COVID-19 pandemic. The mayor of a Dutch town called the people who took part in the violent protest as rioters, looters and also thieves. Het was gisteren een pijnlijke avond voor ons allemaal. Pijnlijk, omdat we zagen hoe onze mooie stad waar mensen over getrots op zijn, werd vernietigd door een aantal onverlaten, relschoppers, plunderaars en dieven. In een situatie waarin we met elkaar juist elkaar vast moeten houden en juist met elkaar het virus moeten bestrijden. En nadat ze hier de stad in gingen, zijn er zelfs nog een aantal geweest bij het Jeroen Bos ziekenhuis om daar de mensen van de zorg de stuip op het lijf te jagen. Dat doet pijn. Pijn voor ons allemaal. De police also detained more than 180 people in the third night of unrest across various cities. Multiple groups set fires through rocks and also looted stores. The police got into scuffles with rioters, chased them down narrow streets, and smaller cities also saw vandalism and other incidents as well. Water cannons were used against the looters, and tear gas had to be used to disperse crowds. Several police officers were also injured in Rotterdam, where many rioters were detained after widespread looting and destruction. So far, according to the police officials, at least about 470 people have been arrested in the three days of unrest. The curfew was imposed on Saturday because of a new wave of infections due to the British variant of the virus. The schools and non-essential shops across the Netherlands have been shut since December. And the country's death toll presently stands at over 13,579, with over 950,000 infections having been recorded in the tiny nation so far. Well, that's all the time we have in this edition of the News Bulletin. Stay tuned.